Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Just want to let you know I went to the BT Experience yesterday, June 28th. And as soon as you walk in the door, you go to the information booth and you receive a free pair of earphones. Which is good because nowadays, sometimes when you have earphones, you tend to lose them. They tend to break. The wire, you got to keep going like that to make sure you can hear music. So this is pretty cool. You know, you get free uh, pair of ear earphones. Then they also have like a little pledge, I want to say. This is from Nissan. It says, every year too many people die because we couldn't put our earphones down while driving. Join Nissan and the Red Thumb Movement in our ongoing commitment to reduce fatalities on the road. Start right now. Wear the red thumb and band an easy reminder to keep your hands off your phone while driving. So you want to take this, open it up, put it on your thumb. Wait, did it actually say your thumb or just, yeah, it says red thumb movement. So you want to put it on. And when you're in your car, it'll remind yourself, do not text and drive. Because people have no idea. That is simply bad. I think it's even worse now. I see it every single day while I'm at my job driving a bus. I see people texting and driving. You know, it only takes a few seconds. Pull over. Get off the road. So pull out. Pull over. And turn your car off, your ignition off. And text. It's that quick. If it's navigation that you need to know about, do that before you get in the car or as soon as you get in the car before you actually pull out in the traffic. Because I see probably two accidents every day on Ventura Boulevard because that's the street I drive. Once again, I appreciate you guys coming back to my channel to check me out. To like my page, leave a comment if you have a questions, and like everyone else, share on your social media, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, I want to show you that while I was sitting down doing some um, volunteering, that is, I volunteered to these um, events so that I can actually also give back to the community if people have questions about the bus lines or the train lines, I could give them my input of what I think of where and how they should go about going places. So here's just one of the pictures that I took through my job. That's what I was doing, giving out brochures. And then, guess what else happened? A friend of mine, a co-worker from my job, called me and asked me, do I want to go to the BET Awards? Of course! I said yes. Why? Because those tickets run anywhere from $50 to $150. Me, I don't really have that kind of money that I want to go and spend the money because I'm about to go out of town. So, what I did was, they came to by my house, brought me out some tickets, and ta-da! I got two tickets to the BET Awards. Now, mind you, it was a last minute thing. He called me about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I had to rush home, change my clothes. Couldn't find nobody that actually lived in the area close to the BT Nokia Theater LA Live. So guess what? Guess who showed up? Me! I was able to get there. And let me just tell you, I had a ball. Even though I went by myself, I actually enjoyed myself. And let me just show you a quick picture of the few people I did run into. First of all, I ran into these good looking guys uh, by the name of Bert and Nathaniel. Here's the picture of the guys. Bert is on the left and Nathaniel is on the right. And I hope you can see that. They were some good looking guys, well dressed. And let me tell you, when I first got there, uh, I was a little hesitant because me, myself, I've lived in Los Angeles all my life. No, I've never been there before. <laughs> so, 
they happened to be walking across the street, and I said, do you guys know where the Nokia Center was? They actually told me. I said, come on, follow me. So as soon as we got there, I said, hey, I got to take a picture so I can let everybody know some good friends that I met while I was on my way to the Nokia Center. And let me also show you someone else that I got. Michael Caller. I don't know if you remember him. Here's his picture. Yes, that's me. I got a selfie. You know, nowadays, you can't get too many selfies unless um, you're close enough to the people. And he was kind enough to allow me to be there. So, all the performers that I saw, I saw Kendrick Lamar, and he played King Kuda, which is my favorite song on his CD. And also, I liked... Uh, Gosh, there's so many, I didn't even write them all down. But, um, who else did I like? I think I liked all of them. I liked um, Robin Thicke. I liked the tribute to uh, Smokey Robinson. Um, I liked Tamara Braxton. And, and the funny thing about Tamara Braxton, I had never heard her sing. She has a beautiful voice. I always see her every night on the reel when I'm watching TV. Also, I enjoyed, um, let me see, what are, what are the little s snippets that I, that I seen? Oh, I know what happened. In the beginning of the concert, they had uh, some people come up on stage and they performed. And let me just tell you, I thought that he was pretty good. But some people were complaining, saying he wasn't too good. But my thing was, he had enough guts to go up on stage and sing in front of people that he don't even know. And hopefully some somebody was out there, like a scouter, and talked to him after the stage and says, hey, I want to sign you up because you have a good voice and I know you can do better. You know, sometimes people get nervous when they get ready to do things. But um, he had enough guts to go out there. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I had to, had to remember who was actually performing because my memory was whoop. Okay, so anyway, uh, Chris Brown. Chris Brown and Tyga turned it out when they started singing their song. The 20 year reunion of Bad Boys, oh my God, it shocked everybody. It shocked me, because shoot, I didn't know that they was gonna have uh, P. Diddy come out with uh, Faith Evans, Little Kim, and Maze. Oh my God, oh, mm -mm. Remember that song? Mm, 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 mm. Want the world to know. Got to let it show. It's a trip how he happened to be there and got arrested recently and bailed out within seconds. It's amazing what people can do when they have a lot of money. Anyway, so when that um, Nene -Nay song came out, but the Blackish crew came out, the people that plays the Blackish, there was Anthony Anderson. Tracy Ellis is the two little kids and the two teenagers. I thought that little part was cute too. They came out and they started dancing, doing that little nay nay. Watch me, uh, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. I like that little song. Just don't know how to do the dance yet. One day I'll show everybody, you know, I can do a little something, something. That part was little, um, was cute. And then um, that girl that came out looked like she was white. Not sure what nationality. She was said she was from South California. Hey, that means she's from out here where I'm from, L.A. And she sang that song. Uh, it was part of the uh, Smokey Robinson tribute. And whew, she blew it off the roof. It was nice. She got a standing ovation when she finished her singing. And then um, when Nicki Minaj came out with Chris Brown and Meek Mill, 
I ain't never heard that song before. I thought she was going to come out singing Anaconda, but she came out singing something else. I guess she decided to sing that because she had brought her mom out there on the stage. She was a cute little lady. I was like, hey, look at her. She's dressed up like her little daughter. They both had on black and looked cute. And then, yes, whoo, the little cutie looked, looked kind of like, I'd say he looked like my son. Um, as, a matter, as a matter of fact, let me show you. I don't know if I can even find it. Well, anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. But Yaz came out from Empire. He had on this little green suit. He had a lime green, lime green suit. Hmm, that was interesting. I didn't want to make sure everybody saw him. Yeah, we saw you. And then he came out. He sang, drip, drop, drip, 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 drop, drip, 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 drop. From the Empire, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show, but it was a black show that used to come on every Wednesday at 9 o'clock. I always had to make sure I was home to see it. If not, I'd DVR it so I could come back later on and watch it. So that was pretty cool. Then Big Sean, he sang that song, Blessings. I'm blessed. I'll be blessed. Oh, well. You know, if you guys don't know it, y'all need to check out more YouTube channels. So you can find out what songs are good, what songs are bad, you know, and get hip to all the good songs. I got that song, so I, I play it like every day. And then his second song was, uh, I don't fuck with you, you little stupid that I'm with you. <laughs> it's crazy because I was cussing through the whole song, but that's like the turn up song, I would call it. And um, I like that because he was like on a little... Um, like a little stage, and it went up when he was saying he was blessed, and it was showing the clouds, then it showed the rain, then it showed you know the stars at night. It was it was pretty cool. How it was changing. As a matter of fact, that was for the blessing song, not for the other I don't f with you song. So that was pretty cool. Then after when I was getting ready to leave, black folks can never get along. I don't know what the heck is going on with everybody, but. As soon as I walked out the door, I seen this black guy and this Hispanic guy, this fat Hispanic guy. They were sitting there. They were talking. Next thing you know, I seen a sock. Poof! The dude, he done socked somebody up. Crazy. I had to get the heck away. I do not like being around stuff like that. Who knows? It might have escalated. I don't know. But it was a nice, it was a nice BET Awards for me to be there and check it out. Next time, hopefully I can... Send one of you guys, one of you guys to come with me, who knows. Anyway, once, once again, like my page, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and like everyone else, share on your social media. Alright, deuces!